What's up, everybody, and welcome to Rusty Fenders. Today, I want to take a look at my Galicia. I don't even know if that's pronounced correctly, but it's a 23-year-old nylon guitar that is pretty much almost the same as the very first guitar that I had when I was 15 years old. This is not the, the one that I had because that one just is in pieces but it is about the same age as that other guitar and I put uh, maybe more miles than I did to my original guitar. So if you're in the market for your very first guitar, this is the video for you, so stay tuned. All right, so as the title says, nylon guitars is still king. And I mean, if you remember, Willie Nelson has a pretty beat up nylon guitar and it still looks super awesome. <laughs> but why don't we start with the differences between the classic American steel string guitars and the nylon guitars, which it, depending on the area, they might actually be a little bit hard to find. But my recommendation is when you're starting out for the very first time, nylon is more forgiving. And what I mean with that is Steel strings are actually pretty hard to press and pretty hard to, you know, make chords because they're metal and they don't bend that easily. Obviously, there's a lot of different styles in steel uh, strings, but for the most part, a lot of people should start with the nylon strings on a nylon guitar. They're very inexpensive and the way that they're, uh, you know, made you can get them in different sizes so if you are you know have smaller hands or something you can get something smaller for you uh, I have a full uh, body uh, guitar and I, I love it I love it is the guitar that you can take with you everywhere right so let's start with the differences so of course the strings there are gonna be differences in strings on the nylon side there's a couple of choices they have like black nylon a couple of different coating or styles of it but pretty much it's all about like the tension so you want to make sure you have some tension uh, and that's basically the differences between the strings that I've seen is you can get like high tension low tension I just get normal ones I like black nylon just how it looks but I don't think it makes any difference on the sound in my opinion really so on the, on the steel string guitar, I would say there's a lot of different choices there. And obviously because you can get a lot of different materials, you can get the third one or regular. Uh, so uh, it's interesting how many choices you have with the steel guitars. But when you're playing, that's the difference, right? Like, are, is it gonna be more of an effort on the acoustic guitar with the steel strings because your fingers hurt a lot and to be honest they're gonna hurt on both but I found that on the steel guitar they, they hurt a lot of more and the way that I see it is if you obviously if you can try them both like go to your local guitar shop try to play both of them they sound really different I'm not gonna lie to you uh, I will be playing a few uh, chords at the end or songs uh, so you get the idea like how they sound for me. I don't know. This is this is the guitar that I started playing guitar So it feels like home. You know what I mean? You know when you you try a bunch of different other guitars and suddenly you come back to the old dusty one in the closet and you just feel like you know where all the Chords are right. So that's kind of how I feel with nylon's guitar. So I am a little bit biased here <laughs> definitely but the, the way that I see it is you can get a Get them very inexpensively right so you can get uh one of these guitars like for 80 bucks used or you know 60 bucks i remember buying mine for like 60 80 bucks um yeah when and that was like a, when i was like 14 or 15 years old pretty much 14 years old and you know while we're at it the other thing that i wanted to share is you need to imitate when you're starting to play guitar and this is a uh, you know totally unrelated to what we're talking about but i find that there's some people that ask me like oh how, how do i start playing guitar well you need to have like a guitar hero that you want to imitate or you or just a band that you want to like sing their songs because they're you know you know them so well 
And when you have that part of the rhythm, it's going to make it easier, really. So in my case, the bands that I looked up to were using nylon guitars. So maybe the bands that you're listening to were using steel string guitars, right? So maybe we can count that as a plus for the uh, steel string guitar, right? And obviously it's gonna sound uh, louder. So if you were playing, you know, with a few folks, the string guitar is really resonant. Nylon, you really have to hit it. And I'm really used to hitting it very like hard in order to get the sound that I'm used to. But the the tension of the strings really helps like with the flow that I'm trying to go with. So I I I, I think I play better on a nylon string guitar to be honest. Uh, and, and they do sound pretty cool, you know. But let's take a look at the ones that I hit, that I have here that I found online. Like if you were to go to like you know Sweetwater right now, you got this um, full body guitar. I think they're gonna be like 160 bucks, and you know that's not bad. 160 bucks is not bad. Obviously, you know I paid. I think it was sixty dollars, like in two thousand one. In two thousand one, maybe. So that, that was a real long ago. So I think with inflation, one one sixty doesn't look that bad. So the other thing to keep in mind is uh, remember to make sure that you're buying a full scale or whatever size guitar you want, because you might see the one that you know almost the exact guitar. And it's like thirty dollars less, and it's because it's actually half the size of the regular guitar. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, the same thing can be said about steel string guitars, but I think it's it's easier because the name of the style kind of dictates the size of the guitar. If you know what I mean. In this case, it just says you know classical, natural, but then you have the full scale. That's what you want to keep an eye out for. And, you know, uh, it's a little bit of a learning curve to know how to put the strings on, but they do last a pretty long time because, there's, you know, the nylon strings do last. They do get dull sounding, but um, I'm a fan of that, like, old string, you know, dull sounding a la uh, Willie Nelson, you know. I'm pretty sure his strings are pretty old, <laughs> uh, also. But yeah, you, as you can see there in the bottom, there's like a little loop. So you just have to like to loop it. I, I actually cross thread it down from there. And then there's some people that get creative and, you know, like mix, you know, like a braid with the strings on the bottom of the bridge. But, you know, it doesn't make any difference at that point. Um, yeah, that's basically what I have for you. I'm going to leave you with me jamming out a few of the old songs that I learned back in the day and they're still the foundation to the music that I play. Cool it out. Mm -hmm. 